Hi, Chris Schneider here. I'm a board member with the fabulous Community Literacy Foundation, and we sponsor Book Buddy, this wonderful program in which we select three books each month for young people, kindergarten through eighth grade. We select the books according to a theme. This month's theme is Circle These Books. And we sort of took a word from this particular book, which is our youngest pick for this month, The Circles Around Us. Uh, it's a New York Times bestselling author. It was written by Brad Montague and illustrated by his wife, Christy. And I'm going to read you just a couple of pages because it'll give you an idea about what the book's about and how it teaches us to be inclusive. All right, we start out as just ourselves and then with, we're with our family, but then as we go to school and we interact with different people, our, our circle gets much larger, larger. We begin by drawing a circle on the ground along each shoe, a safe little place for just one person, nobody in this circle but you. You could keep that circle closed to everyone but yourself, but that would be like a library with just one book on the shelf. So this book owned on in our heart and we we're sure that kids in our area will enjoy it. The next book buddy book, the next age group that is, is Let Liberty Rise. And this book is by Chanis Diefel and it's illustrated by Chuck Roenick. And I hope I'm pronouncing those names right, but you can probably, if I zoom in close, see who the authors are and you sound it out for yourself. I love this book from the minute I saw it, and I saw it some months ago, and it's just, um, it's a marvelous story. As we know, the Statue of Liberty was actually given to the United States by France, and it was given to us on America's 100th birthday. There was only one problem when the Statue of Liberty arrived in America. She didn't have a base to stand on, and she was in danger of going face first, and that would not have worked at all. The problem was the funding for the base to provide the funds for the base actually had run short. And so um, they had a contest to try to raise funds for this money. And the reason I especially love this book is because of the school children that contributed pennies. The classes got together and got pennies and sent them in. So you were sure to enjoy this book. Um, it's got fabulous illustrations in it. And it's just a feel good story about how just the little things we do make a really big difference in people's lives. So that was our middle book buddy pick for August. Okay, our oldest book buddy pick. Oh, I missed this one some years ago when it was written, Out of My Mind by Sharon Draper. It's the story of a fifth grade girl who has cerebral palsy. She's born with it. It's just such a touching, amazing story because she's born with this disease and her parents are so loving with her and they walk her through all the steps of dealing with what we would see as a disability. Teachers think that she's not very sharp. They think that there's something wrong with her mind when in actuality, she is a mind trapped in a body that can't do what everybody else can do. When she gets into a classroom that has a special education and she has aides there to help her, that's when she really blossoms. I, I just love this. Melody stole my heart. I know she'll steal yours. I am very excited because Sharon Draper has a new book coming out this fall and I think it will probably be a book buddy pick too and it takes up Melody's story where she left off, and you don't want to miss this book. It's fantastic. This book and the past books that we do for Book Buddy can be seen on the Community Literacy Foundation's website. So all the books that we've done in the past months, so if you take your child to the library or to the bookstore and you're interested in getting one of those books, they're all listed on the Community Literacy Foundation website. If you enjoyed this video, it'd be awesome if you give us a thumbs up or even better, make a comment so that we can continue to improve this service that we're pro providing through the Community Literacy Foundation. Thank you. See you next time.